بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسٹینڈرڈ ٹیسٹ میتھڈ فار پینٹریشن آف بچمینیس مٹیریلس پرزینٹڈ بائی انجینئر عرفان اللہ انٹرنیشنل اسلامک یونیورسٹی ڈیزائگنیشن آف دا ٹیسٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو اے ایس ٹی ایم ڈی فائیو زیرو سکس زیرو سکس از فار دا ایئر آف ریوائز آف دی ڈاکومینٹس اسکوپ آف دا ٹیسٹ دس ٹیسٹ میتھڈ کورس ڈٹرمینیشن آف دی پینٹریشن آف سیمی سالڈس in solid bituminous materials. The needles, containers and other conditions described in this test methods provide for the determination of penetration up to 500. Uh, also in this scope, the value of standard internationals are used throughout this lecture. And furthermore, the safety concerns are not covered in this lectures. All the safety precautions regarding to this practical lab should be performed in practice and study separately. So let's start first with the introduction and summary of the test. Penetration of a bituminous material expressed is the distance in tenth of a millimeter that a standard needle vertically penetrates a sample of materials under noun condition of loading, time, and temperature. The noun condition of loading is 100 gram, and the noun condition of the time is 5 seconds, and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. <coughs> This test is also known as penetration test, simply. So that's why what is penetration is most important. Penetration is the distance covered by a standard needles in the penetrometers into the bituminous samples for a 5 seconds. So the sample is melted first. So we are studying the summary. So the sample is melted first and, the, uh, and in cool under control conditions the penetration is measured with a penetrometer by mean of which a standard needle is applied. to the sample under specific conditions. So significance and use of the test. So penetration test is used as a mayor of consistency. Higher value of penetration indicates a softer consistency. As you know that if the bituminous material is softer, so it means that uh, the, the, it will allow the needle to penetrate deeper and if the bituminous material is very hard so it will not allow the needle to penetrate much deeper so it can be used to find how much hard and soft material is to be used for a specific constructions of road in other buildings so the apparatus required for the tests are penetration apparatus which can also be called as a penetrometer so this is the uh, penetrometer so the apparatus permits the needle it allowed it allowed the leader the needle to move vertically without measurable frictions and is it is also capable of making the depth of penetrations to the nearest 0.1 mm So the weight of the spindle should be 47.5 plus minus 0.05 gram and the total weight of the needle in spindles assembly should be 50 grams. So the surface of the sample and the needle should be 90 degree to each other. And the spindle should be easily detached for checking its weight. And moreover, the needle or the plunger in the surface of the sample should be just in contact before starting the test. A penetration needle. <coughs> the needle is shown in the figure. Should be made from hardened stainless steel. Its length is approximately 50, degree, uh, 50 millimeters to inch in length and Its diameters 
is 1 to 1.02 millimeter and at the end it is tapered and its diameter is reduced to 0.14 to 0.16 millimeter for approximately that much distance. So it should be symmetrically tapered at one end by blending to a cone having an angle between 8.7 and 9.7 degree over the entire cone length. So in these figures, it is illustrated that under the, under the noun weight of 100 gram, the needle is allowed to penetrate into the asphalt sepum, uh, cement at the uh, temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. And after the 5 seconds, the, penet uh, the needle is penetrated into the asphalt sepum, uh, cement for the period of 5 seconds and the penetration is measured in units of 0 0.1 millimeter. So the, in other apparatus, the third apparatus after the penetrometer needle, the third one is sample content. A metal or a glass cylinder, flat bottom containers of essentially dimension should be used. So most of the standard test required the containers of the dimensions like its diameter of 55 millimeter and depth or height of 35 millimeters. Why for some of the specified tests for a very very soft bitumens it required a diameter of 70 millimeter and depth of 45 millimeter. But we will use in the lab the sample containers of diameter 55 millimeter and depth of 35 millimeter. The other uh, apparatus required uh, during the tests are below the water bath. Water bath is used to maintain the temperature of the samples to the required temperature. For example, it contains waters which are given the control temperature from the control panel. So the containers along with the sample are put into the water bath to maintain for a specified temperature. Like in this case, we will maintain the temperature of the sample to the 25 degrees Celsius. The fifth apparatus required in this test is transfer tray. So transfer tray is also a tray which is uh, which have the ability to cover the containers with waters in order that we maintain the temperature of the water up to the required temperature. Timing device, most probably stopwatch will be required during the test if the test is not automatic. Thermometer, thermometer is required to measure the temperature of the uh, environment and as also the temperature of the sample. So first before the starting the procedure of the test, we will prepare the test specimens. If the sample is not sufficiently fluid, is received. If it is not fluid, we will not be able to pour it into the container. So first of all, Heat the samples with care, stirring until it has become sufficiently fluid. It will be uh, most probably 75 to 100 degrees Celsius. At that much temperature, it will be able to pour into the uh, container. So it should not be uh, heated more than 60 degrees above its expected softening point. So after heating and make it fluid, pour the sample into the sample container to a depth such that the depth of the sample is at least 120% of the depth to which the needle is expected to penetrate. Allow, allow the uh, samples to cool in air at a temperature between 60 to 90 minutes. 
and uh, its temperature should be between 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. So after cooling it, place the sample along with the container and transfer dish into the water bath to maintain it at a 25 degrees Celsius for a period of 60 to 90 minutes. After achieving the required temperatures of the sample, then we have to place the sample in the test assembly like this. The room temperature during the test should be maintained at 25 degrees Celsius. And this is the penetrometer along with the needle. Below the needle of the penetrometer, the sample is placed in the containers which is uh, inside into the transfer dish. So, we are ready for the procedure for the conduction of the test. The sample is prepared and placed in the penetrometer. Now start the procedure. First of all, clean a penetration needle, dry and insert the needle into the penetrometer. So the needle should be ready, uh, unless otherwise specified place the 50 gram weight above the needle making the total weight 100 plus minus 0.1 gram. It says that if it is not specified a special conditions of lower or higher weight you should maintain a weight of the needle in the whole assembly is 100 plus minus 0.1 gram. Means the noun conditions, the default conditions of the penetrometer is 100 gram under which the penetration is carried out. So the second step is place the sample container in transfer dish, cover the container completely with water from constant temperature and place the transfer dish on the stand of penetrometer as we can see that the sample container is placed under the penetrometer. Position the needle by slowly lowering it until its tip just make contact with the surface of the sample and this can be done with the help of the adjusting screw. The fourth step is either note the reading of the penetrometer dial or bring it to the pointer to the zero means the target is to find the penetration. So either you bring the initial reading as 0 or you read the initial reading and subtract it from the final reading. Now the fifth step is make uh, or quickly release the needle holders for specified period of time means 5 seconds and adjust the instrument to mere the distance penetrated in tenth of the millimeters if the container moves ignore the results. So I mean, this is the whole assembly if you have an automatic uh, penetrometer so just push the button and give it 5 seconds after 5 seconds stop the penetration and then mere the penetration and, or the penetration will be mirrored automatically into the automatic in the automatic penetrometer. So uh, these steps should be repeat again to make at least three determination at point on the surface of the sample not less than 10 millimeter from the side of the container and not less than 10 millimeter apart. Means the three readings according to the step number five means push the button, give it five seconds, after five seconds stop the penetrations and read the pe penetration distance. So, uh, so this penetration should be at a distance uh, three times, mean at least you have to penetrate the needle for three times and the uh, penetration distance should be made. So the uh, 
penetration should be uh, 10 mm apart from each other as well as 10 mm at least 10 mm uh, far from the side of the other. So now you have three reading of penetrations. So what to do next? So you have to uh, take average of these three values of uh, values of penetrations. This will be your penetration. But keep in mind, you have some conditions. We will discuss it in the report. So report says that the mean value of three consistent penetration measurements is reports is the penetration value. So or report to the nearest whole unit, the average of three penetration whose value do not differ by more than the following. So what it means? The table below says that if your penetration is from 0 to 49, then the difference between the highest and lowest penetration should not be more than 2. Means if you have one penetration of 40 and the second penetration is 44, it will not be acceptable because the difference between 40 and 44 is greater than 2. Similarly, if the penetration is, if the penetration range is 50 to 149, the maximum difference between lowest and highest penetration is 4. If the penetration range, range is between 150 and 249, the maximum difference between highest and lowest penetration should not be more than 12. Similarly, if the range is between 250 and 500, which is the maximum uh, scope of the test, the difference between highest and lowest penetration should be not more than 20. It can be less than 20. So, hope you will find it very helpful. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time.